Hey all, uh, this is a quick tutorial on working with InfluxDB on Node-RED. I'll go through the process of writing uh, points to an Influx database, re reading points from the Influx database, and also creating a small dashboard uh, using the uh, table node and displaying it as a, it as a Node-RED dashboard. Uh, today I'm working with the Jetson Nano. Uh, you can try this out on a Raspberry Pi or anything that can run Node-RED. And I've already got everything set up. I'm running Node-RED and I'm running Influx 1.8. So you, the instance of Node-RED that you see here is the one that's running on my Jetson. Included the installation instructions uh, and other useful links in the description be uh, below. So the first step after you install Influx uh, from the link mentioned below is to create the database that we that we use to create measurements or to push our data into so i'm logged into my jetson i can go to influx and again i'm running influx 1.8 so i can create a new database let's call it prescient and now we should have a database called prescient. So now that we have our database ready, uh, we can use Node-RED to push data in. In this example, I'll be pushing a random data point to our database. Uh, so this data can be from a sensor or from any other data source. Uh, by the way, this flow is available for download. Uh, please check the description. So here I have one inject node, and that is pushing a random value to a change node. So Influx supports tags and fields. And all we are doing here in this change node uh, is we are creating some fields and some tags for our measurement. Uh, so we have one tag and we have two fields. So our first tag is called type and the value is point. And we have another tag called timestamp and we have another tag called value and which is the value of our random variable that's coming from, uh, from the inject node. And then we append it to an object called message.payload. So message.payload is an object of fields and tags. And this is what we push into our Influx uh, database node. So to set up this node, I'll double click on this. So we are running it on uh, running the Influx on uh, Jetson Nano. So the address is right, the port is right, and we just created a table, uh, the database, uh, and we call it prescient. So let's update it here. We don't have a username and password. So we'll leave it as it is. And we can name our uh, measurement. Uh, let's call it test. And we'll hit done. And we can deploy this. So it was successfully deployed. Now to push this random data to influx, we can inject it. So it successfully injected one data point. Now if we go back to our database, I can check and I can verify if the data was pushed or not. So I'll do select star from my measurement. My measurement was test. Oh, so we didn't set a database yet. So I'll do use prescient, uh, which is the name of the database that we just created. And now if I do select star from test, it'll give me the random value that we just pushed the type and the timestamp and this is the time that we manually uh, included in our change node similarly let's push one two three four four more data points if we go back uh, to our influx let's verify everything uh, went in so if i do select star from test you can see that there are five points now. So that's our uh, write operation.
And of course, you can alter this format, uh, set more fields or values in this change node, or you can use a function node to do that. Uh, it's up to you. And now moving on to the read operation. Now let's say we want to fetch all the data that we just pushed in our influx database. To do that, I just have one simple inject node uh, that's just pushing a Boolean called true. And here I have a function node with a query. So it says select star from test. So that's the same query that we were using in our influx database. And we are passing it to influx read node. Uh, and everything is set up here. So once done, we can hit deploy. And if I hit this, I will get the five objects that I pushed initially. Now to just uh, get a particular object or get object by timestamps. Um, uh, I've also included another uh, link in the doc, uh, link in the description um, with a guide to influx queries. So let's say if you want to get the points that are just 10 seconds old, uh, we can do so fair time is greater than now minus 10. So this will get, give us the points from uh, from last 10 seconds. So once I do that, I hit deploy and I'm not getting back anything. So if I push another point again, and if I fetch again, I get my point. So this is a basic read operation. Uh, so let's say we want to display these points in an order dashboard. So for that, we are using the same uh, same process and it's just that after the read operation instead of displaying those points in in the debug node we are pushing them to a function node and creating an object out of it uh, that's acceptable by our table node and once we deploy and if we fetch you can see our points uh, coming from influx in the node red dashboard and that's about it so we covered how we can write to an influx database how to read from influx database and also how to display the red values in a node red uh, node red dashboard cheers